Thanks for clicking into ClickOrlando.com. I'm Danny Trainer, and this is what's going on. Weather-wise, you know, Saturday, pretty nice, pretty warm, lots of blue skies. Certainly seemed like a wonderful summer day, considering the fact that we're in the middle of winter. But when you see things like this, very grateful for the weather patterns that we do have. Now, things are about to change, and they're going to change big time simply because there's a cold front that wants to come knocking and visit because it is that time of year. Right now, things are kind of quiet, but that's going to change in the next 24 hours. Take a look at what's going on just to the north of us. Bad storms have been moving all the way from about Apalachicola, Panama City, Tallahassee, moving on into Valdosta, Georgia. There was even some tornado watch boxes included with this because these were, were big storms. That's not necessarily the one that's coming in our direction, but it certainly is an indicator of what we can expect over the next 24 hours. As that cold front pushes down, it's going to run into a lot of this warm, moist air coming up from the southwest. That wind is going to pick up tomorrow also. It's going to pick up, I'm talking about 15, 20, 25 mile an hour winds, and then some gusts up to about 30 miles an hour. And that could be before the noon hour. We're even going to have a threat of rain in the morning. All right, let's kind of like shape things up for you here. But first, Saturday was warm, 12 degrees above normal. 71 is what we should have on a daily basis this time of year. Well, what you can expect is that cold front. This one here, the one that's kicking up that storm, that kind of disappears, but it's replaced by another cold front that comes down here. It runs into all that moisture I was telling you about. So here's what happens. Sunday morning, it's cloudy, windy. There's a chance of rain, maybe only about 20%. By the time we get to noon, we're up at that chance to 30, 40%. And then the heavy rains move in in the afternoon. I'm talking about like 2, 30, 3 o'clock. And then as we go into the evening hours, from 6 until midnight, that's when that squall line will be pushing through the area and affecting areas like, well, Marion County and uh, Lake County, Sumter County. I'm going to show you a timeline on that. First of all, not much is going to happen overnight. So let's jump to about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning here. You can see spotty showers, and that's just it. They're just showers, but they're starting to pick up in intensity as we move into 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Starting to see some pockets here of heavy downpours over Orlando, in and around Sanford. And then the squall line. Here comes the frontal boundary. It's running into that same moisture. And here in the villages, maybe some pretty good showers. It pushes on down by 9 o'clock into the Sanford area and stretches on down into parts of Osceola County and into Orlando. This means it's headed toward Brevard County. Here we go. Brevard County, 10 o'clock, right around the Cape, back over into Titusville and swinging on down into eastern Osceola County. But then we've still got to deal with South Brevard County, and I think 11 o'clock is when South Brevard County is going to get hit. Now, that's what the latest run shows for Sunday. That will probably be updated a couple more times before we get to that time of day. Just to give you an idea, if you're headed to the beach, which I don't think anybody will be, I mean, why? It's going to be rainy, it's going to be windy. Look at this, 20 plus mile an hour winds, 69 degrees in the water. We've got nothing to deal with as far as a surf goes, and we've got rough conditions for boaters. It's not a beach day or a boat day. In fact, small craft advisories are in effect until Tuesday. Temperatures overnight, everybody's in the 60s. That includes Orlando. Dropping down to 66, winds out of the south, 10 miles an hour. With that wind there, I don't think we're going to be having a whole lot of fog changes. Here's your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Let's take that chance of rain up to 30% by noontime, 76 or 82, and then an 80% chance of rain. What can I tell you? Let's show you what's going on over the next seven days. Once we get this cold front through here on Sunday, then we get the cooler area. And see this? 71. Cloudy, windy on Monday. And then by Tuesday, clear the skies. Blue skies. Sunshine. 69 is the top temperature for the day. And then we round out the rest of the week, get back closer to normal. Then next weekend could be extremely chilly again. Really chilly. We'll talk more about that as it play, comes into play over the next several days. That's a look at the weather. I'm Danny Trainer. Thanks for stopping by.